Yo, what's going on, guys? It is your boy, the Gamer, back again with another video. Now, today, I'm going to be answering one of the most common questions I've been receiving recently, and that is, how do I play or add Minecraft servers to my game on console Minecraft? Right now, console is actually the only platform of Minecraft that is not allowed to add different servers to the game, but that changes today, guys. I'm going to be showing you both methods for PS4, PS5, Xbox One, Xbox One S, literally every console out there right now for both Android and iOS users. I have tested these methods both rigorously and they have worked flawlessly. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how to add any server to your console that you want to play on. So today I'm going to be doing this method on Xbox. But like I said, it does work for PS4 and PS5. So let's just go ahead and hop right into the tutorial. Now to show you guys this method does work right here. If I head over to the friends section, this is where the server you want to add is going to appear. It says bedrock together via 1.16. I'm just going to go and connect and prove to you guys this is a current working method. It does take a little bit to load up, but don't worry, just give it some time. And then as you can see, I am actually on my server now. Play it at the pond MC. Dot com. This is the server I'm going to be using to test out this method in the tutorial because this server allows both Bedrock and Java users to play on the exact same server. So if I head over to the server tab on a Minecraft, if I just go play, scroll over to the right where you guys normally see your servers. On console, Minecraft only allows you to use these six featured servers they have right now, the High Galaxy Knight, you know, all this stuff that they normally have. You're only able to choose from these servers normally to play. On every other version of Minecraft, right below the featured servers, there's actually a button where you can add your own servers on mobile and pc but on console for some reason they don't have this feature they don't have this option anymore so that's why we have to use this method so just proving that i did not just go and scroll down and add a server this is on console and i did just use a method to join through the friends section actually to play in the server so we're gonna go ahead and start with the method so like i said this method works for both ios and android and the method is pretty much the exact same you just download different apps but i'm gonna start on ios because in my opinion that's the easier version so all you have to do is head to the app store on your phone look up bedrock together just like i've spelled it it should come up with this app right here it says join any server on xbox slash ps4 you're going to want to go ahead click on it download it once it's installed you want to open up the app and then you're going to want to pay attention to these pops up very closely for the wonder says allow bedrock to track your activity across other companies apps i say don't allow it doesn't really have to do anything with minecraft servers but this is a huge thing you guys have to make sure you press ok on this bedrock together would like to find and connect to devices on your local network you're going to want to head and click ok this right here is the crucial step if you guys download this app and you don't press ok it is not going to work and so to test out that this has worked i'm going to go ahead and enter uh the ip address of my server played out the pond mc Com. This is just a general heads up, guys. Not every server you're going to connect to is going to work on Bedrock. Right now, a lot of servers are still either Java only or Bedrock only. But recently, servers just like mine have been allowing both Bedrock and Java players to connect to the exact same server, regardless of what platform you're on. So make sure that whatever IP address, or whatever server you're trying to connect to does allow Bedrock players to join. If it works, no problem. But if you guys just want to test this method out, my server is 100% guaranteed to work for you guys. But anyways, all you do from here is you go ahead and click run. And just to show you guys, I don't have the paid version or anything like that. If I try to add this to my favorites, it says I need the premium version to unlock. So this is completely free. And all you have to do from here is click run and then wait for this 15 second ad to go through. This is how this app still functions, even if you guys don't pay for it. So 15 second ad, you watch it. It is super easy, super simple. And that's all. It works every single time. Once you're done, watch the ad. You want to exit out. And then right here, literally live in front of my eyes, on the friends section, the Bedrock Together land game pops up. The server that you've just added on Bedrock Together and that you're running, it's not going to appear in the featured server section. It is going to be under the friends section. And this is also another huge, huge, huge important step you guys need to make sure you follow. You need to make sure that both your phone and your console are connected to the same Wi-Fi network. If you're trying to run this app off of data, it will not be able to connect to your console and therefore it won't let you join the server basically the way this works is your iphone and your console pair up together so that basically your phone allows you to join to the server through your console it's pretty crazy and it's super awesome so you need to make sure they're both on the same wi-fi network and also you have to make sure that the app is open if you swipe out of the app it's going to close out your connection and you will not be able to play but as soon as you click join 
Like I showed before, it takes anywhere from 20 to 30 seconds, but sooner or later, your console and your phone will get you logged in and get you connected to the server. Also, another side note, at least on this app, once you've joined, it's going to go ahead and say run. Now, even though it still says the app is technically not running and not connecting, I'm moving around, I'm walking, this is my server, and everything is working completely fine. So you need to make sure the app stays open. As long as the app's open and you're connected to the game, then everything is going to work just perfectly fine. All right, guys, so now for the end. Android portion of the tutorial. Everything I said for the iOS portion still applies for Android, but you just have to simply download a different app. Now, if you look up Bedrock together, the app is actually not on Android. That is an iOS specific app, but there are similar apps that do function perfectly fine. Now, the app that I have tried and has worked for me is the MC Server Connector. It will look like this. It'll have this icon. All you got to do is the same thing, install it, takes just a few seconds to install. Once you're installed, you want to go ahead and open it. It's going to look a bit different, but it still has the same principles. All you guys have to do is change out the IP. Once again, I'm going to be using my server play.thepondmc.com. Now, once you're done with that, same thing. You're going to click start server and it's going to go ahead and give you an ad. Same situation. If you guys do want to support this app, you will be able to pay. I think it is a few dollars to get rid of ads and so you get priority access. You don't have to watch these ads, but it is completely free. If you don't want to pay for it and you just watch the ads, that is perfectly fine. So boom, right there, it is worked. The notifications popped up, played at the pond, MC .com. If I scroll down, you will see in my notifications bar that played at the pond MC is running through the app. And you can go ahead and exit out of the ad. And I actually kind of like this app a little bit better because on the console, it shows the name of the server that you're joining same thing it is under the friend sections under land games it says the pond mc.com season 2.0 and it actually shows you the amount of players online compared to bedrock together which didn't really show much information at all and then on the phone itself as you can see it does give you a bit more player data it shows you the name the players the description and then the ping for some reason the ping is really high however if i connect to the server which i'm doing right now go ahead and join up skyblock uh you'll see that this is not actually 400 millisecond ping the ping is fine it is working just like normal minecraft does there might be a tiny bit of lag because this method does go through your phone and therefore it's one extra step that your communication your network has to process but as you can see it is working perfectly fine the connection is false i can place blocks i can break blocks as you guys see with absolutely no lags so like i said if you want to test out this method for a sure fired way i would highly recommend you guys try it out on my server and just to prove the server works with commands and all that stuff if i go ahead and enter boom we are teleporting to the spawn everything looks a little bit different on console but my phone right now is in sleep mode the app is still open and i am playing people are running around and everything is looking just fine so before you guys head down to the comment section and you start saying something like oh this method doesn't work the app doesn't work i just want you guys to double check and make sure that the server you are trying to connect to does allow bedrock players because i have tested this on both ios and android my console has worked perfectly fine throughout all this and i have had absolutely no issues so once again the ip address is going to be played at the and if you guys end up playing on it i would greatly greatly appreciate it but yeah this tutorial is just for anyone on console like i said you got your ps4 ps5s you know new gen old gen ios android literally anyone and everyone this method will work for you you just have to make sure you follow the steps in the correct order and that all of the boxes are checked to make sure they're not gonna have any problems but yeah guys people are joining it is working perfectly fine and it's been a few minutes so the only thing i haven't fully tested out is how long this works for maybe every 30 minutes or an hour or so you might have to reconnect but none of that is guaranteed or anything like that so hopefully you guys ended up enjoying today's video if you did a like would be greatly greatly appreciated as that will help others find this tutorial and will help them connect to the servers they want to connect to on their console but yeah with all that being said it's been more like the gamer hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video and i'll catch you guys in the next one peace